Hey guys, in this quick video, I want to show you how we can make such a floating menu here. When we hold on to a view, then this menu will open up and we can click on these items and a little toast will display. You see these menus very often in Android apps, but usually when you search for menus, you only find the option to implement such a menu here on the, in the toolbar, but not how you can actually do that when you hold on to a view. So that is actually fairly easy to do. So let's jump right into it. I created an empty Android Studio project here with a main activity and an activity main XML file. And here we will also start. So in activity main XML, we will go to the XML tab, so code. And I will replace this text view with a button. This doesn't really matter which view you choose here, but I will choose a button here and I will name it, or actually I will give it text hold to open menu. And we will give this button an ID of button open menu. And then I want to go into our Gradle scripts folder, open the build.gradle module app file. And here for the plugins, I want to add the Kotlin synthetics. So those are actually not included by default anymore for Android Studio 4.1. At least that's the case for me. I don't know if I'm missing any setting here, but since I upgraded, um, I have to add this plugin here manually. So what we will do is we'll write ID Kotlin minus Android minus extensions. And then we will sync now. Then we can go to our main activity. And here we need to register this button for this menu we want to open when we hold on to it. And this type of menu we want to open here is called a context menu. So we will call register for context menu. And you can see we can pass a view here. We want to register for that context menu. So we want to actually hold on to that view that we pass here. And then that menu should open up and we just pass our button open menu here. Then we need to override a function here to actually inflate that menu. And for that, we need the menu resource file first. So just as for every other menu in Android, we need to create a resource file for that in which we specify the items that belong to that menu. So inside of our RAS folder, we will right click new Android resource file and give this a name of floating context menu. And as a resource type, we select menu here. And then we click OK. Then we can switch to the XML tab here, the top uh, right corner. And in here, we will create four items. So we open an item tag. We give this item an ID. So we can later check if we actually click on this specific icon um, item. So I will give this an ID of MI or just item one. Let's just call it item one and we give it a title of item one. This video is sponsored by myself. If you want to take your learning to the next level, then click the first link in this video's description to get to my website, where you will find over 300 quiz questions for all my videos, take notes, climb the leaderboard and compete with other Android developers just by creating a free account. Then we can copy this, paste it three more times and just update these numbers here. Item two, item three and item four like this. And then the arrows are gone. We can go back to main activity and override on context menu or actually on create context menu here. So we want to override that function and you can see we get a reference to this context menu here and we just want to use our menu inflator to inflate that menu. So if you don't know what the menu inflator is, that is just um, a tool that takes this floating context menu XML file and puts it into a format that we can actually use in our code and that we can display in our app. So in here, we write menu inflator dot inflate and we need to pass a menu resource, which is r dot menu dot floating context menu. And as a second parameter, we pass the menu we got here in this function. And that's already enough to show our menu, but we also want to be able to respond to clicks on these items. For that, we need to override another function here in our activity, which is called on 
context item selected. This function here, and before that return statement, we will have one expression when the item we get here from uh, this parameter, so when we click on an item, then we get a reference to that item we clicked on. And now depending on that item.item .item ID, we can respond to these clicks. So if that item ID is r.id.item1, we want to show toast, toast.make text, pass this for the context with the message item1, and duration toast.length long, and we call that show. Then we can press Ctrl D to duplicate that line three more times in case we click on item two, item three, or item four, then we will also update the message accordingly. And if we now launch our app and take a look in our emulator here, then you can see our button. And if we hold on to that, then our menu will open. If we click on an item, a toast will display with that corresponding item name. So I hope you liked this video. If so, please give it a like, comment below, and also really make sure to subscribe to my channel. You will get regular Android tutorials every second day. Have an awesome day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.